Here in the desert, golf courses can be an easy target when we want to point a finger at wasteful water use. But many of these properties have made enormous strides to reduce their water footprint and increase water efficiency. Major turf conversions at Angel Park Golf Club and Sun City Summerlin's courses and common areas are slicing away at water use. The Southern Nevada Water Authority's Water Smart Landscapes rebate chips in for extra savings. The city of Las Vegas is about to reduce its water footprint. It will replace nearly 282,000 square feet of grass at the Angel Park Golf Club with water efficient landscaping. The conversion, part of the SNWA's Water Smart Landscapes program, will save about 16 million gallons of water a year. Further west, Sun City Summerlin plans to remove six acres of grass from around its golf course clubhouses, golf courses, and common areas. Sun City's grass removal will occur over two years, with the goal of reducing water use by 20% over three years. Many golf courses are already very efficient water users, with computerized irrigation systems, sophisticated weather monitoring devices, and well-educated course superintendents. A number of courses also have completed the complex application process to connect to and use recycled water, rather than potable supplies. Still, the sheer amount of landscaping results in steep water bills, and that's a major driver for courses to remove grass in unused areas. But it's also about doing the right thing for the valley's future. Angel Park is committed to conservation and obviously to the game of golf. Um, we believe that by taking these areas out, not only obviously does it save our operation money, but it, um, you know, it's good for the environment. Using less natural resources and being able to conserve will benefit everybody. Everyone should feel an obligation to conserve water and natural resources because we only have so much. It's not something that we can manufacture. The SNWA's Water Smart Landscapes rebate makes the conversion process a win-win. The rebate program will pay Angel Park and Sun City Summerlin $1.50 per square foot for the first 5,000 square feet converted and $1 for each additional square foot not to exceed $300,000 in rebates per year. Program conditions do apply to ensure the conversions are permanent. For instance, the city may not increase the amount of grass or water surface at Angel Park as long as it operates the golf course. Golf courses account for about 6% of the total water used here in Southern Nevada. And the public uh, probably thinks that number is much higher. Uh, the goal of the Southern Nevada Water Authority is to help golf courses become even more water efficient than they already are. Uh, so our incentive programs help make that possible. Turf conversions are perhaps a little addictive too. For both Angel Park and Sun City Summerlin, these aren't their first conversions achieved. Over the past decade, Angel Park has converted nearly 3.3 million square feet of its grass through the SNWA's rebate program. That's nearly 28% of its overall turf. Those conversions alone have produced more than 700 million gallons of savings for our community. Sun City Summerlin has actively reduced non-functional turf areas as well. It removed 18 acres of golf course turf in 2008. That was over a three year period and we are saving approximately um, $80,000 in water from that. So we used that and said, you know, it's not gonna get better, we live in the desert, we should look like the desert. And we really didn't have one resident who said, no, you're wrong. There, I'm sure are a few people out there who are back from back east who love the green, love our pine trees, but the reality is they moved to the desert. And so they have been very happy, the mass majority of them. In fact, we said, let's start a committee and we had to almost drive people away. So many people wanted to be on the committee to reduce our plants and our grass. Overall, the Valley's commercial properties have responded remarkably to the need for water conservation. Many properties designed and constructed 20 or more years ago weren't designed with water efficiency in mind. But with help from the Water Smart Landscapes rebate program, commercial and residential turf conversions have helped our community save more than 78 billion gallons of water since the program's inception in 1999. Businesses have a huge impact on conservation here in our community. When people go out shopping, when they go to restaurants and, they, and, and doing their everyday uh, activities, they see examples of water smart landscaping. Uh, take Angel Park, for example. Uh, they've removed 
quite a bit of turf here at Angel Park and it hasn't in, impacted the playability of the golf course. It looks green. They can still get out and, and hit the ball around and it's a, it's a great example of, of what businesses can do to influence the community and conservation. Don't let golf courses have all the fun. If the only time you step on your grass is to mow it, remember that homeowners can participate in the Water Smart Landscapes rebate program as well. Find all the details on snwa.com and enroll in the program before you remove a single blade of grass. You can earn $150 per square foot of grass removed and replaced with desert landscaping, up to the first 5,000 square feet, then $1 per square foot thereafter. An average 1,041 square foot residential conversion can earn a rebate of more than $1,561 while saving 57,255 gallons of water a year. That's 55 gallons per square foot. Commercial turf conversions such as these at Angel Park Golf Club in Sun City, Summerlin are driving home the message that conservation is not just good business, but everyone's responsibility. And it proves that staying water smart suits our desert community to a T. Reporting for Waterways, I'm Christine Vaughn.